Hi everyone, it's Tanya Drop Dead Gory here, and today I'm coming at you with a drugstore back to school makeup look slash tutorial slash review, my normal kind of spiel. <laughs> um, so I love this look that I came up with. Um, I hope you guys will love it too. I love all of these products. I think they are amazing. They get an A plus from me. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then just stick around. Alright guys, it is a million degrees in my apartment because my air conditioner broke last night and the office is closed on Sunday. So if I am like sweaty, then that's the situation. I'm sorry. Um, I can't even run a fan or anything in here because that's all you guys would hear. I actually, you can probably hear my dryer right now, so excuse me. Um, but okay, the first thing I'm going to go in with is this um, Garnier Skin Active um, Moisturizer clearly brighter it has SPF 15 um, so that's really good even though it's not enough SPF um, you should have SPF underneath this it's always good to have SPF in your moisturizer I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on make sure to go in um, upward motions And this is nice. It's not too oily. It's really good for this back to school time because you don't want a really heavy moisturizer um, because, you know, it is really hot, especially in school. I know when I was in high school, they were not running those air conditioners. So at least in the beginning, right back to school, you want to still be wearing um, light things that aren't going to like sweat off your face because that's not cute. All right, the next thing I'm going to be going in with is this NYX Angel Veil Primer. You can get this at Ulta or Target, mostly any drugstores, just like any of this stuff. Um, please excuse Vader. Um, this is actually not my first choice. My first choice for primer is the Maybelline Blur and Illuminate. It's in the black. It's the Master Prime. And it's a really nice primer. It has SPF 30 in it. It gives you a really nice um, like illumination, a nice shimmery, but not glittery effect. Um, it's really nice. I like that. This is nice too. It's a little bit silicone-y, but not a lot. It does blur out your skin. Um, but it's pricey. For the drugstore, that stuff's like $15. That is expensive, and I don't think it's worth it. I would rather just use that um, Maybelline one. It is not silicone -y at all. It goes on like a second moisturizer. It gives you a glow underneath your foundation. I really like that one, so get that one. But this one is nice, too. I just don't think it's worth the money, to be honest. All right, and for foundation, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and this is in the shade 112 Natural Ivory. They do have one lighter than this, um, 110, but I am actually tan. I don't know if you can see it. Tan. I have self tanner on, so this is the one I'm going to be using today. And I'm going to go in with an e.l.f. I think this is just the complexion brush. Looks like that. I'm going to try to use all drugstore brushes as well. One downside to this foundation is no pump. You got to pour it on, onto your hand, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but this is a really great foundation. The dewy and smooth one is great also. Um, they have matte and poreless and dewy and smooth. I am going in with matte and poreless because like I said, it is hot as hell and I need it. So I am just going to dot and kind of blend out my fingers. You guys like how this is my tan foundation? <laughs> like I can't. But I figured I would just use my self tanner the end of the summer why not right and as you can see there's no really rhyme or reason to this I'm just kind of patting it and then I am putting it over my eyelids as well and then I'm gonna go in with my brush just buff. And this foundation I think is like six dollars 
and it really does give you a poreless finish, especially with that primer, which is nice. And I have very dry skin. I mean, obviously it is summer, so it's not as dry as normal, especially because it is so hot this summer. I actually saw online that July was the hottest month ever recorded. What? Anyway. Um, but yeah, but it doesn't dry out my skin. Like, even though I have dry skin, it doesn't get crackly or, like, gross or cakey or any of that. Um, it's a really nice formula. It says for oily skin. I don't have oily skin, but I think this would work if you had oily skin. Just I would probably set it with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder or a powder that really works to control your oils. All right, next for concealer. Uh, Concealer-ish, color correcting. I'm going to be going in with this NYX Dark Circle Corrector. <laughs> um, this is just a peachy base. comes in uh, three shades, I believe. Um, I have the lightest shades, just in a little pot. I have, you don't have to do this, especially if you're in high school or like I said, you're just rushing out the door. You don't have to do this step, but I have hereditary dark circles. So I was like, I've had these my whole life. They're very blue, purplish. And on top of, like I said, you know, you're going to class super early. You have, you're running around, you have extracurricular activities. You want to look wide and awake. So um, this is an option for that. And the orange peachy tone just neutralizes that bluish purplish undertone like I do. And then I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte. I said mascara. <laughs> Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is in the shade uh, 10 Light. They do have one lighter than this. Um, 15 fair is actually lighter than 10, just so you're aware. Um, but I'm just kind of putting that down wherever. I'm taking my ring finger because that's the lightest touch. And I am just blending that in. And I'm going over my eyelid to get any of that discoloration. And I just put this anywhere where I have a lot of extra redness. So like my chin, my nose. And I kind of drag this down into my cheeks where I have redness. Okay, and now I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And this is in 110 Porcelain. And this is the Set and Smooth. They also have a matte version. Can you see that I really like Maybelline Fit Me products? I really do. Um, and then this is the e.l.f. Powder Brush. It's just a nice flat top. I'm just going to dab that in there. And set underneath my eyes. eyelids where we set that concealer and this brush is great this brush is really nice you could even use this for foundation um just kind of take the remainder swirl it everywhere just so your foundation is set and it will stay all day long Okay, now I'm going to be going in with NYX Tame and Frame, and this is in the shade Blonde. This is just their equivalent to the Anastasia Dip Brow, which is my everyday brow um, go-to. just looks like that. I'm taking the e.l.f. Small Angled Brush, dipping that in there, and just going for it. Now, you can use a pencil or powder in high school. I in high school, I didn't do my brows in high school and college. I um, used powder first and then I went to a stick and now I have, I'm doing this. I find that this is the best method for my eyebrows because it stays placed all day and since I have barely any, um, look at the difference already. Like I, th I find it's just the fastest for me. A lot of people say this is the hardest out of all the methods, um, but I've been doing it for so long that this is what I like. But you do whatever you want. I hear the NYX um, micro brow pencil is very good. All right, for eyeshadow, there are a lot of options you could do. There's, it's really endless at the drugstore. What I like to start out with for my base, and you don't have to do this, you could just do concealer and that works just fine if you're in a rush. If you like makeup and you want to jazz it up a little bit more, you want to take that time out of your day to really, you know, make yourself feel good and 
put the extra steps into it, then the color tattoos are amazing um, from Maybelline. They stay all day. They can work as cream eyeshadows or eyeshadow bases, whatever you want. Um, Bad to the Bronze is a really good one. You can just put that over your finger, put it into the crease as a one eyeshadow look. Um, also, the one I can't find, it's the one I wanted to use, I looked everywhere for it, is the um, Barely Beige or Barely Branded, I think it might be called. It's just the... Um, the beige, the champagne colored one, shimmery, um, that one's really good for all over. And the one I have today is creamy beige. This one was limited edition. Um, but like I said, any of them would work. But it's just a really good cream eyeshadow, very similar to the MAC um, paint pots. I am just going to go ahead, dip my finger in that. Is this is the Physicians Formula Natural Nude Highlight Palette, Shimmer Brick. I think it's called the Shimmer Bricks. Um, this is great. And they do have one for darker skin tones um, or just if you want something warmer. It's the Warm Nude. This is Natural Nude. I'm going to do, so I'm going to go into this color right here just with my Wet n Wild brush. Any brush you have could work. Dipping into that, tapping off, and this is the large eyeshadow brush. Okay, so that's that really pretty um, just wash of shadow. That's what I want to go for today. That's what I would do in high school. So that's why I really like this. Now I'm going to go into this light shade right here just with my pinky. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner. That really opens up your eyes, makes it look more awake. Just definitely something you want in school, right? Also going to sweep that over the brow bone. And these blend out super great. I love this because it's just, it's totally multi-purpose. This is the best. All right, for eyeliner, um, I'm not going to do eyeliner today, but if you did want to go in, this is Drugstore. It's amazing. Physicians Formula Eye Booster. Uh, and for mascara today, I'm going to be going in with the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Okay, and what's great about this is it really doesn't clump, so you are guaranteed to have clump free lashes and just get out the door. The last thing you want to do, which I've done a million times, is have huge clumpy lashes. You have to wipe off all your makeup and start again. If you don't want that, go with Clump Crusher. Okay, so for the face, the rest of the face, I'm going to be going in with this Physicians Formula um, Instant, what is it, the Insta Ready Super BB Bronzer. And this is just in the shade Bronzer. And I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. And this bronzer is great. It's like a mosaic. Um, it actually looks like a camera lens. Um, and it has SPF 30 in it. And I find that this is um, good just for warming up the face, but also the hollow of the cheekbones. Again, we're trying to get out the door. You want multi-purpose products. We just want something that's going to make us look good in a hurry, right? So just kind of sweeping that, like, almost in the hollows and also like on top of the cheekbones a little bit. Taking it underneath the jawline. And on the forehead. Just taking whatever's left over on my brush, down the nose and on the chin. Now we're nice and bronzed. Now I wouldn't normally do this on like an everyday, but say you want to look really good, you have a presentation or it's picture day or something like that, um, you can contour. So um, this is the NYX HD blush in the shade Taupe. As you can see, it is very well loved. It is a perfect cool tone, which is what you want, because if you're contouring, you want 
it to look like natural shadows on your face and the sh shadows are cool toned so you would want that um, this is the elf angled blush brush which is perfect for contouring um, just dip in tap off this is a little powdery but it's perfect so you really as we took the bronzer all over the face you really only want this powder where you would want shadows so you don't want to bring this all over the face because that can look muddy we really just want it in the shadows and as you can see it does make my face look a little more slim and sculpted so i'm just kind of going like taking the brush like this and then also like so up and down and then also side to side to blend and you don't want to bring it too far in because that's going to bring your face down and age you. Um, also, you can go underneath the jawline again. So again, that's just an added step that if you want to do it, great. If not, don't worry about it. For blush, I chose the City Color Be Matte Blush. Um, and this is in the shade Fresh Melon. I'm going to apply this with the e.l.f blush brush simple enough you can get city color at five below and on their website but there's tons of good blushes in the drugstore Milani blushes are great um, I don't know I think blush is something that the drugstore has down but I like this because I think city color is a really cool brand if you have a five below go check them out um, and look at that I mean it's awesome for the drugstore and I feel like these blushes aren't talked about enough. And this color is just beautiful. It's, it's hard to go over the top because this color is just so light and fresh. It's just, it just looks youthful and awesome. And I'll just show you again. That's what the color looks like. Really, really pretty. All right, sorry guys, my uh, camera overheated, fun stuff. But um, you already guessed it for highlighter. One, two, three. All right guys, for a highlighter, you already knew, I'm going in with the Physician's Formula Natural Nude Brick. And I'm just taking my e.l.f. stippling, not stippling brush, my e.l.f. fan brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and just tap it into these lighter colors. Tap off any excess and... Are you kidding? Like, it's so pretty. All right, and finally, to finish off this look, lip color. Now, if you know me, I can't just pick one lip color, so I have a bunch to show you. Um, first is the Wet n Wild Mega Slips Balm Stain Moisturizing Lip Color. Looks like this, it's in a crayon um, shape. Now, I have never heard anyone talking about this. One day I just picked it up from the drugstore and fell in love. It's like this, this color, it's in Marvelously Mauve. Oh, Rico Mauve or Rico Mauve. Um, it's beautiful. Now this is just, it's not matte. Um, it is just a nice pigmented color and once it fades from your lips, it leaves a matte stain, so it'll stay all day. City Color again. This is in the shade Mauve, and it is their B Matte Lipstick. So we use the B Matte Blush. This is the B Matte Lipstick. Looks like that. Now that's if you're going for a more traditional kind of lipstick. This is a good one. Again, City Color is super cheap. If you want a lip gloss, go on top of any of these or just on its own. These are fantastic. Um, I'm sure you've heard of them. These are the NYX Butter Glosses. These are pigmented enough to use on their own um, or you could just pop it on top of a lipstick and they smell great. They're not sticky and this is in the shade Tiramisu. It's a nice natural nude. That's very pretty. I am going to be going for the Wet n Wild Balm Stain.
All right, guys, so that was my back to school drugstore makeup look and my picks. Um, I really hope you like this look. I love how it turned out. I think it just really emphasizes what you already have, your natural beauty. Um, I love every single one of these products. I think they're just as good as high end and I wholeheartedly recommend them. Um, let me know what your favorite drugstore beauty picks are and let me know if you're going back to school, if you're excited, if you're not. Just let me know all of that down below. And if you try out any of these products or this look, if you go drugstore shopping for back to school, um, let me know if you like these and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.